in the 2018 NBA draft, Sacramento Kings had the number two pick and the opportunity to draft Luka Doncic, but decided to go with Marvin Bagley instead. Recently, former Kings GM Vladi Divac did an interview with Cro Croatian website Index and reflected on the decision, which many consider to be one of the worst decisions in draft well, history. That's why he said it. Vladi said, quote, in that position, I had De'Aaron Fox, who I drafted a year earlier. At that moment, I thought Fox was a player who could become a franchise player in the future. Time will tell if I was wrong. As things stand now, it looks like I am. But I have faith in young Fox that he will have a better career. Fox is a point guard who needs the ball, just like Luka. I could have taken Luka, but then I would have had to trade Fox. I love watching Luka. I really love his game. But I had my own reasons for deciding the way I did. Maybe I was wrong but time will tell. So Divac also addressed the rumors that a rift with Luca's dad led to a decision to not draft Luca, saying it has nothing to do with the relationship, uh, but many believe that his cap, a giant cap, if you will, like Rashad likes to wear on this program sometimes. So, so far in his career, Luca is a rookie of the year, five-time All-Star, five-time first-team All-NBA selection, has reached the playoffs four times, conference finals twice, leading the Mavs to the finals this past season. De'Aaron Fox is a one-time All-Star with one All-NBA third-team selection, he did help the Kings in their 16-season postseason drought with his lone playoff appearance coming in 2023. So despite all of his success in Dallas, it was obvious last season Luka was still feeling some type of way about the Kings not picking him. You may recall in the Kings game against, or uh, in the Mavs game against the Kings in Sacramento in March, Luka hit the game ceiling free throws with Divac in the crowd and was seen saying he should have drafted me. Drafted nice. me. Nigga. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's <laughs> You're about to say it so bad. That shit personal. I know. Fuck. We cannot confirm shit. or deny if he... Definitely said it. He said it. Definitely yeah. said it. Well, no, under his breath, though. Whatever the Slovenian word for that is. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, what do y'all think about Vladi Divac saying De'Aaron Fox will have a better <laughs> career than Luca? Well, that's well, not clearly that. not I mean, the case. Not, not that means like, he got to catch up at this right. point. Right. He got to catch up. But uh, this whole thing is just... It's, like why is why is he making us a De'Aaron versus Luca thing? Yeah, yes. you brought you this brought De'Aaron. This is like, like a why twisted, are you bringing him into you bring this? You're bringing De'Aaron. This has nothing to do with the two. It's like a twist. You made a fucked up decision. Don't put that on De'Aaron Fox. Like it's just a bunch. And of... And then trying to compare like no, yeah. his like yeah, his yeah. career. Like I might have made the wrong decision. Like no, we're talking nigga, about you your nigga, what? You're you talking did. about but your draft But if I'm drafting. De'Aaron, I'm listening. You like? Damn. I know, but that's what I'm yeah. saying. Like, <laughs> like you, made what? The, you made the wrong decision because you didn't draft Luca, which has nothing to do with De'Aaron Fox. Right. Like this is the problem sometimes. Like I, I remember asking the gym. I said, all right, if you have uh, T Mac on your team and. We know their careers right now, and, and Kobe Bryant was coming in a draft. Would you take him or would you take Yao Ming? And he said Yao Ming. I'm like, wait, what? You, you know... That's Kobe Bryant. It's Kobe. And you're gonna There's going to be... Well, I already, I already know it's going to be I already Kobe. have T-Mac. Who gives a fuck who right. you already you have? have? Put them both out in T-Mac. <laughs> I don't give right. a shit right. you have De'Aaron Fox. Put Luke. Well, look up, he's 6'10". Yeah. Period. Yeah. Put him out there, let them play one and two. You yeah, wait, why did why I, did he feel like he had to trade? First of all, it's Fox. working. Now. Because they, they both played the point guard position. But you didn't even it was, see it. If it works. Let me see it. He's already playing with Let me see it. If it don't work, then y'all got to know. We see that same this is why, and this is <laughs> why overthinking for dumb dumbs, <laughs> yeah. it happens. And I'm playing with Kyrie right now. I'm not saying he's a dumb dumb. Right, he's playing with Kyrie what's the difference? And Kyrie's playing the two. And he's a smaller guard. Just to re you. That's what I'm saying. It's smaller just, guard. It, like, shut up. But that's what I'm saying. He's, it's, yeah, you made a mistake because you overthought this draft. Drafting by position. He was the best. You tra you're the drafting best by available. what you Whoever the best available is, pick him. By em. position, he, too. Just pick him. Pick it. Right? Especially if you're that high. They, that means they, you need two, it. You need it. And he's got to be good enough. These you got a top talents. five pick. You're not drafted by position. You These two the talents will figure it out. Available. And obviously... Two guards who both need the ball has shown you what it looks like. Yes. It just well now he looks so, really dumb now. So Vlad, Vladi drafted Marvin Bagley because of that reason, but he also could have took <laughs> Jaron Jackson Jr. Cool. I had Tuesday. Luca. I'm just saying. and I should have picked Luca. Okay. Yeah. Facts. Should have picked Luca. Yeah. If I got LeBron James and motherfucking Carmelo is give me Carmelo. Give me Durant. Give me whoever. I don't give a shit. The talent will figure it out. They will. If they know how, to, if they are real talent, they always play, figure it out. They figure it out. You're seeing it. That's why. So when you're looking at Dallas, if you're Vlade, that's what should be pissing you off. Yes. Like, 
Because I, 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 yeah. I had that. Fuck, I had that. Yeah, I had that. I had that. This might have looked a little better. Now, Darren might get a football on his head because... Because the GM's like, fuck. I just stuck with you. This has nothing to do with, this, this like, like, do with De'Aaron. Like, the, 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 the decision is Marvin or him. That's where you messed up. This has nothing to do with De'Aaron. Right. And that's why Luca's pissed. It's like, how could you... Pick. Well, well, it was personal. They, they and said then, and you, then it, that, it's personal. Then that right there. Yeah, your daddy wasn't see, saying. See, now he's trying to make it like that, a Luca De'Aaron thing. No, it's a Luca and who you picked instead of me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bagley. Darren ain't got nothing to do with it. Then that part is kind of fucked up too. Like, you, <laughs> you mad you didn't go to Sacramento? <laughs> like, wait, are you? That part. Are you? That part. Really? That part. Really that part. That part. <laughs> he's really not mad at all. He's probably like, thank God. Like, I get you. I get you want to be the number two pick. Do you? Really? Yeah, our our state capital, no, a, a flourishing no, city, a very. Like, 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 <laughs> those like, are the things. You like, it was ugly, right? Was they got a top people. golf in Sacramento. No, but I'm just saying, as a player, you know where you are. You know, like the city you're in, the organization you're in. I, don't, I think that's like, you're in, great fit. You're in like damn near one top top A. You're A class. You're A class for like, sure. Like just organization itself. Oh, yeah, right, and you sitting there everything. still mad you didn't get pick number two? Like, why would you want to be pick number two? Shit, look at this. Yeah, he clearly don't know what he's doing, and he's petty as hell, so it's probably I'm better. Pretty sure, Our state's capital. Here. I'm pretty sure Dwayne Wade and um, Chris Bosh, I'm pretty sure they are not sitting like, man, shit, I wish I was the number three pick. <laughs> right, is that no number two pick? With Darko. Darko, uh, bleed number two. Yeah. Oh, I'm pretty sure they don't. I do not. I'm glad I got picked in Miami. And I'm glad I went to Toronto and became who I. Like, this. Yeah, it's, it's worked out. Yeah, number two is the sound of number one, number two, all that shit sounds cool. Yeah, fine. But okay. cities okay. matter too, too. <laughs> Gil, Gil. Situations matter too. How tall is Luca? 16, he said. 16. Because the chat is disagreeing. They want to know if you gave him some roast sparks to add a few extra. Okay, because the chat, the chat go. The wow. chat looks off the chat. The no gilly, no gilly. Wow! No gilly. That is That's the amazing. chat. Because the chat doesn't understand that measurements without your shoes is what they get with your shoes look a little different. So when he's playing in the NBA, he's 6'10". He's 6'10". Okay. Because he got his shoes on. How, how tall they say he is? They're saying 6'7", 6'8". 6'7". It's our chat. What does it say on the, on the stat thing? 6'8", I think. Right? No, on ESPN. What does ESPN say? The ESPN go off of... No, 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 NBA. NBA.com. NBA NBA .com. NBA uh, .com goes off of what gets uh, in the pre-draft. Uh, according to my Googling, it's saying 6'7". Six, 6'7". Seven. Six, seven. Three inches? We give, we give so him three, three inches? inches. Shoes. Mm. We no, give him three no inches. Gilly. That's no those gilly. Thames. Those are Thames. No gilly gilly. He's what playing with Thames. On? He's playing with Thames. <laughs> how, tall is, how tall is Jason, Jason, Jason Tatum? Uh, give me one second. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I want to watch the Dallas game. How big was Luke with him? He's ginormous. He's how, how tall? That was the first time I see him in real life. Did he look? Huge. Did he look six seven? No, he looks about <laughs> six nine, six ten. Jason Tatum listed at six eight. Six eight. Yeah. And what, like, did this, what did his coach say he was? Uh, big what big did Missoula say he was back uh, back then? A couple years ago, Stevens, they, they said, "Oh my God, he's about six ten, six eleven right now." Did he? Did they not say that? I think Brad, let, Brad let Stevens, let what, what did Brad Stevens say how tall he was? He'd be wearing them insoles and shit. You know, the niggas be wearing Give me one second. Anything I'll, you can do I'm to Googling. get taller. What did Brad Stevens say? Insoles for the, uh, for the elders. Yeah. The elders. You know, niggas, Give me one niggas is wearing dresses. They so, wearing heels. Again? They wearing heels now, too. Niggas wearing six Brad ten, Stevens man. called Tatum 6'10". So, recently. So, the, so the coach right now said... In 2020. 2020 said, how tall is he? He says 6'10". What does Google say? 6'8". So, who the fuck is wrong? The coach who's measuring him or Google? Let me uh, provide some context. Uh, so according to Stevens, uh, I'm pretty sure I said he's 6'10 in like July in jest. And I was talking about in terms of he's long, he's active. Ooh. Uh-oh, I'm just telling you. Bro, like I, I have, I have, I the have whole, it. The whole society's cooked. Everyone's talking no, because, in, in no diddy terms. No, but no, no, what I'm saying, because <laughs> they, don't know, they don't understand that you get measured, you get <laughs> measured without your shoes and with your shoes on and most most of the ones that go to the nba or public yeah is with your shoes off Gil, this is and your they arena they don't understand that when i get my checks it says gilbert arenas on it <laughs> like how, how tall they got steph six one six three six three yeah right. steph, you, steph listed at six two mm. yeah he's not six two and we've seen that man he's not six two right okay so he's not six two 
But let's go back to your other point about... Uh, <laughs> he's just skinny, he just... But he's not 6'2". He's just what? <laughs> he's, just, he's just skinny, just a little... Just a little. <laughs> like, where they have Kyrie at? Kyrie Irving. They got him like 6'1". Said, that nigga is not 6'1". Kyrie is 6 foot. No. Kyrie Irving uh, listed at 6'2". No, he's 6'1". No. He's not taller than me. He's taller than me? Yeah. Kyrie's taller than you. Brandon, you would know better. No. Call, yes. I'm 6'1". Can you height. call Kyrie and say... He your height, right? Six, two. Huh? Kyrie's taller than him. He your height, right? Yeah, Kyrie. Yo, yeah. Right. Kyrie, Kyrie just has a fro, so yeah, he's just your height. Yeah, right? yeah, he's he's like, yeah. Yeah. Hey, the fro is key though. Yeah, like, Rashad, 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 Kyrie, Kyrie was like this, brother. Huh? Kyrie was. He had a fro. He, he was looking up a little bit. No, I was not. No, I was, I was right, right here. No, I was no. Right here. no, you're cat. He was. Uh, uh, side eye. Kyrie, Kyrie looking down. But let's talk a little bit more about what you were saying uh, about a little <coughs> box back course. Luke has shown he can play with another PG on the court, be successful. Reached the conference finals in 2022, playing alongside Jalen Brunson in the finals last season with Kyrie Irving. So I wanted to know if they did end up drafting Luke with that number two pick, let's just say hypothetically, how good could a Luca Dierra Fox backcourt have been in Sacramento? Mm. That's a bonus though, right? I mean, no. just, they, I mean, they I mean so they, they got Tyrese Halliburton, I think, a year or two later, ended up trading him for some bonus. See, like, so it depends on the coaching, though, too. It depends on the coaching and, Damn, they had Ty like, oh, so you know, like their system. It depends on the system. No ball-dominant guards. They just don't. So they passed on Luka and got rid of Halliburton? Because the Aaron is, like, the Aaron is that type of guard that can go from one to two. He can, he's a switch guard. Yeah, just like I. Right, so him and Halliburton would have played great together. Hallie got drafted there. Oh, shit. I forgot. Yeah, he sure did. As I said, man, like, I've always, that always oh, irritated, yeah, man, that always irritated that. me. Well, he didn't think that. Yeah. No, that He's kind of, like, fucked with that the they were, missed, they were missed on the best player to pick someone that they think they need. Mm -hmm. <coughs> well, it's like you can't really, nowadays what we think about in sports is we can't share, they can't share sure. the spotlight mm -hmm. between the two superstars. They have, like, in the same position. It's not even, like, you know, each team got two superstars, mm -hmm. but they're at different Good positions. Decisions. But then you got two point guards. It's got to be like, well, we play them the same amount. They score the same amount. Well, who's your point guard? Mm -hmm. So you. whoever you give the point guard status to, the other one's like, two guards. That's what I said. Point guard both, too. I mean, but we both out two there. Two guards. They, they, they push that narrative for where it's yeah. not acceptable. So now not when you got two yeah. same guards, yeah. say two shooting guards, like you just said, T-Mac and Kobe, yeah. why wouldn't you draft Kobe? both of them. What do you mean? It's a 2-3. Yeah. But it's like, no, nah, they're the same position, man. Why would I get Kobe when I can get Yao? Yeah, so I can have Yao and T-Mac. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. like, that didn't lazy, work. Lazy we front office that work and lazy coaching. Lazy coaching. Like, that's the only thing I just right. be, I be sitting there every, every year, I'm like, why? Like, you... But I asked that question. I, I really asked that question, and I framed it just like that, and they went with the, they went with, with the Yao. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, like, if I had the, like, if I have Shaq, and I got the number one pick somehow, and it's Yao, Jason, uh, J. Will, or Dunleavy, give me Yao. <laughs> give me Yao. I'm not going to go, I'm not, that's crazy. Yep. Because you don't need a J. Will to do the J. Will's job at the point. No, I, I got two yeah, big yeah, motherfuckers. Yeah. I need, yeah, find I need, someone to I need fill role that play, role that you need roles. and work with your stars. That's the whole adjustment that being made, like you're saying. They don't, make, they don't want to make those adjustments. If I get two bigs, now I know I don't have to go get star players on the outside. I need motherfuckers to know how to throw this bitch Double in here. Double on the side, double <laughs> on the side. Ooh, knock that wide open shot. Yeah. Bruce Bowen, knock that motherfucking corner yeah. shot down. Now you can get a whole bunch of them. Get a bunch of them. Y'all, so we gonna weird. kill. But that's the people in the front office. That is. So, two things. First, we got a comment from Retro11. He said, my last day watching live going back to day shift tomorrow. Uh, please, in the chat, let us know who your boss is. Because we need you watching the show live with us. Uh, we got your back. Yeah, tell us. Yeah, yeah. tell us, man. Tell your you boss, yeah, shit if he don't let you watch Gills Arena. If he don't let you, fuck him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. And then, two, Brandon, we have a photo of you and Kyrie. Oh, damn. Together, uh, for reference sake. Come ah! on, man. That's 6'2". No, nah, bro, look at him, I bro. ain't nowhere near 6'3". <laughs> it's the fucking... 
Yeah. It's a fro, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. It's a fro. Yeah. We can yeah. tell by where your chin is. Your chin nigga, is the fro. Three inches shorter, it's dog. It's the fro, bro. It's nah, the fro. Man, Kai got a long. <laughs> nah, nah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, whoa, whoa. Yeah, whoa, whoa. 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 Shout out Tough Crowd. Mm -hmm. I don't think I seen that. That's a it. long time ago. That nigga ain't got no beard and no scruff or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> that was before the ayahuasca. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga said, I'm about to go on a trip. I'm going to be back in a minute. You ain't seen Kyrie since. This nigga that came back is <laughs> Cheetah Man. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it, it is still our offseason here at Gills Arena, but later by under our fantasy. We, we, we have the NBA season whoa. coming just around the corner. I think games are like a week and a half away preseason, really? but games nonetheless. Oh, yeah, October. Yeah, underdog said, y'all niggas going to work September. When's training camp? Has training camp started yet? Uh, it's uh, kicking off soon. Yeah, right now. It should be in like in the next four or five yeah, days. I'm going to say, when's media day? Yeah, where everybody pitchers at? Preseason yeah, starts on the 7th, right? Day. There's been like, like very October little build is, to this season. Am I Preseason games? Yeah, like, like right now, because I'm, I'm just thinking. When the narrative starting? When those come out. Oh, the oh, narratives? Oh, the yeah. narratives? Uh, when the narratives start. When the narratives come out. We gotta put the schedule up. We gotta put the schedule up. The narratives come out. I'm ready. Friday, I come before this event. We gotta put the schedule up. Where the narratives are. We get our first look at Bronny in the, the preseason on, on Friday. 8th <laughs> at 3.30. We're gonna drop yeah. a few here. I'll say about That was the first one. Round about October 14th. Luca. Here we go. Round about October 14th. We're gonna have. That's narrative, too. Ooh. Right around Indigenous we People's Day, we're going to have uh, the narrative narrating uh, for all of you. <laughs> I'm glad, basketball. Fans of the show. Oh, shit. So, last question. Me too. Fuck. I know how y'all feel about Sacramento. Sacramento's, I do not feel the same way. Uh, they did. jammed me up this summer I when I went out there. Sacramento. You know what I mean? Mm -mm. Mm. You know, no. They got a top golf. There. No, you never went. <laughs> <laughs> they got a top golf and a Chili's. And the Chili's. Yeah. Closest that's, thing to Applebee's we're going to get. That's Americana right there. Closest that thing is we're going to get. That's right the closest there. thing we're going to get. Right, he looked right at me. Like, no. He said, and the chili. And and the chili. No, it's funny because when you say it, it, it like, <laughs> a I fine franchise. Y'all got I mean, damn. They got David Buster's. David Buster's. They do got David Buster's. Hell yeah. Sure they got David what? Busters. The big one. They probably still got you. Yeah. <laughs> the big one. <laughs> the big one. <laughs> With the lasers oh, uh, in there, laser tag in trying it. Trying to give me a blunt? <laughs> Relax! <laughs> <laughs> that's, how the, that's how the pills got started. Just shout out to our producers. There are seven <laughs> chilies. Your tongue. There are seven chilies in the Sacramento area. Seven. seven. Uh, Applebee's chilies. That's a national they record. Got a, <laughs> those, are, those are kind of towns that still got like the they last love block chilies. The last blockbuster <laughs> for sure. At the same block as the chilies. You go around the corner from the chilies, you go to Shout out to Bend, Oregon. That's on God's Sacramento. I do got a bunch of old stores oh, like that. Oh, sure. Black, yeah. but, uh, Boys R Us, Kmart, <laughs> nigga. Circus City. <laughs> Circus City. Circus City still got that big ass Radio Circus City over Shack, there. Nigga. Yeah, Radio Shack still out there. <laughs> old ass town. Uh, uh, those what? are good ass places, dog. Some bingo. good ass places. They got, bingo. Bingo. They got a real you know they got bingo. bingo. You know they got bingo. Yeah, Fairmont. a lot of bingo players be out there. For sure. Can we confirm if Sacramento has a Boston market? Uh, that'll put us over to the shore. Bingo is that? Oh, that's they got to count. Bingo, bingo, bingo. 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 The, the real travel. travel. They got the one. Yeah, they got the one. Yeah. Yes. We <laughs> came on down from. You know, they got the bingo South tournament. Salusa. South Salusa got the. They got the bingo. Yo, this is the national bingo committee. <laughs> You got to call Grandma a little extra dollar. I need my lucky hat. <laughs> uh, bingo, a, a great game for those who like to participate. But bingo. question about Luca: <laughs> Is Luca still a five-time All-NBA First Team selection, five-time All-Star, if he spent his first six years playing in Sacramento? Depends on the coach. Depends on the coach and the system. I don't see how that changes. Yes. I don't see how that changes where he's at. Yeah. It's Luca. Yeah, it's Luca. Okay. Yes. Luca's and they both good. was trash. Well, even with. Mavs nah. was trash when they got him. Listen, he's still gonna have them crazy bro, I just think it depends on. I mean, if he if he go there and then what's his yeah, name Kyrie was bumping heads Kyrie with Vladi, you just never know. Yeah, but he's old, like he's old. who? Uh, Kyrie that? You like like? Oh, that's what the reason was for. Yeah, that's the dad shit. That's what they said. Yeah, is that is that what happened? Mm -hmm. They trying to Vladi. Yeah, they trying to didn't pick him because his dad. Vladi and his dad uh, reportedly had beef. Vladi tried to say that wasn't the issue, but bro, it goes back to the old country, bro. Oh, it's the old country. No, yeah, old, yeah. old country for old men. Yeah, like, yeah, so, bro. It's oh, because they probably country. played against each other back then. Yeah, they probably just you know knew each other. 
same five, people. Both back play in the day. for the same. <laughs> <laughs> or they play for the same team. You know, Vladi won't like the dude from the professional. The, the, the nigga, the nigga the with the assassin uh -huh. with the, the, the with the glasses. That's who that's who Vladi looked like. He uh -huh. like the nigga with, that's a good movie. Yeah, that shit was fire. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that's why though. So that's why I said I don't think. Like like I don't think so. Because Vladi would have been. Oh, he would have been tripping. He would have been like, yo, yeah. get the ball to him. Or, Probably yo, we got to do this. We got to, like, he would have been. Just the end up going with Halley. He definitely would have traded after that. Yeah, uh, two yeah, years yeah, after that. Let me double check. So you don't draft Luka, but you, you think they, draft they, Halley. They, they, well, he played. With Darren Turner. Halliburton played. That was stupid. Very <laughs> careful. And then you yeah. get rid of him. And then you get rid of him. That's what I'm saying. So Wait, he would have got rid of him. They drafted Halley 2020. How did that year look? With them two together. Halley and Darren? Yeah. Let me double check. It looked awkward. Because I remember him playing. He was yeah, playing. They were there. They were Indy, playing good though. Then he went they to were... Indy and started going crazy. No, no, no. Right? Before that, they he was, was going actually crazy thinking there. about getting rid of De'Aaron because Holly was playing good during that time. Yeah. So they spent a season and a half together, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, because halfway yeah. through, then he went to Indy, and then yeah. he, went, he was going crazy. But they, they remember they said when he got, they got rid of him and he started playing good in Indy. Sabonis started playing good in Sac. So they was like, oh, that was a perfect trade for us. We in oh, the, they traded for each other. They traded for mm -hmm. each other, yeah. And they got Buddy Hill. So they got Buddy Hill out of sack. Mm -hmm. Buddy went to Indy. Indy. It was them two for for, for uh, yeah for Sabah. I want to know how they look together. Well, he together. thought Bagley was gonna be um, here. I ain't got my exactly. Phone. Let me see. They, they shit Bagley to Detroit. Let me double check. They said fuck you. That was. And that's when I thought they had a good team. They had all them young players, but they just turned it in Detroit. Let me double check. It's crazy, like when you. It's crazy, like you were the number one player in the country. Right, you're number one player in the country, and then your, your confidence getting knocked off to the point where you don't recover. Yeah, because even you know you go to Detroit, you boom, let's go right away. Yeah, but guess what? Even in Sacramento, <laughs> like you, you supposed to there, miss the bonus. Right? Wiseman ended up coming later, but he was there two years, I think. I believe they were 39 Wiseman. and 52 in games uh, they played. No, but how did Halley? What did the numbers okay. look like? Like, let me see. Me... Bradley wasn't playing bad, but it's like 14 and six for Halliburton. He was young. He was a rookie, rookie. As 14 right. as a rookie? rookie? Yes. That's what... It's fucking good. He was balling. <laughs> That's good. It wasn't what I mean, De'Aaron was doing, but they was well, looking at him now, like, yo, we like, got something. I mean, what was... They're like, yo, we got something. Was the bonus already all-star? If so, that... I mean, was the bonus an all-star? Yeah, where's the bonus? In, in, in Indiana. Indiana. bonus came from Indiana. Mm -hmm. I don't even know the bonus before a second. Oh, I don't know. Because it was him and Miles. Him and Miles was okay. killing. Yeah, Sabonis so was the All-Star 2020, 2021. Oh, two time shit. before the, okay. before Wait, the trade. Yeah, two time All-Star before the trade. Oh, then that was a they great. They needed to offload. That was a great Buddy ass. Buddy Hill and Holly Burton. Four nah, that was a great ass on both sides. Okay. I mean, that was a, that, that was a great trade, Dan, great because trade. 14 and 6 can get you a two time All-Star. Right? You said it was two time? Yeah, let me, let me yeah. double check. Well, what you see where, where their mind was at with the two. Ball dominant yeah, players, out. though. I think they was trying. They was trying to get one, one, of, one, them of, them. one, one of them had to go. One of them had to go. So you can go straight up, De'Aaron Fox. Sabonis. You have to. No, but what I'm saying is, you got rid of someone who was yeah. who wasn't an All Star, All NBA player, and you grab and you an All Star for him. him. Yeah. So that means it's, that he showed that he can run his team. Mm -hmm. So they was like, yeah, we'll give you this. And they was like, hell yeah, you can have an all-star. Yeah, yeah. So Kings <laughs> traded uh, Halliburton, <laughs> Buddy Hill, Tristan Thompson to the Pacers for Sabonis, Justin Holiday, Jeremy Lamb in the 2023 second round. Yeah, this is good a good trade. So actually, uh, Indy Hallie. gave up more. They gave up more to get. At the time, but yeah, like, in gave, hindsight, yeah. you're like, OK. They gave up Jeremy Lamb. Well, you they didn't got, know that they got Jeremy first. Lamb. Who else? So they uh, so the Kings traded Halliburton, Buddy Hill, Tristan Thompson, and the pace, uh, to the Pacers, and got Sabonis, Justin Holiday, Jeremy Justin, Lamb. They got Justin. Jeremy Lamb. Yeah. Jeremy Lamb. Lamb didn't play though. They got him out of there. Who was the third? What was the pick? Uh, 2023 20, second round pick. Let me double check. They got a second round pick in exchange. Hmm. So yeah. they basically the got Justin Holiday in there. I mean, they gave a Justin bunch of pieces. good for yeah. them too. Yeah. Yeah. He was killing. Yeah. Okay. We say. Uh, all right, yeah, mental. I think it ended up being Jordan Walsh, <laughs> but who, who traded the ball? Right. <laughs> so, oh. mm -hmm. I said, Darren to Fox catch a stray. Yeah, for no reason. That was a crazy. Yeah, that's a, that that's a crazy straight for no straight. reason. He I, in the family, straight. Brandon. He I don't in like the family. That. I don't like that stray. Uh, no, I'm saying, but he catches straight for no reason. Yeah. <laughs> Darren to Fox. Because he just didn't want. Now he got to see this dude four times this year. But I was like, he catches straight on some shit that. Like, like this is personal did. between y'all. Why are you yeah. throwing me into it? Like, what? it. Yeah, like, he's as talking of about right now, I'm wrong. Wait a minute, nigga. What happened? 
what? He yep. tried to fly into Slovenia and they they, they, <laughs> they hemmed that nigga up. <laughs> you or know, do you think he's mad? Said, you will say this publicly. Or, 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 <laughs> you or, will say this. Or do you think he's he's throwing a shot because he got fired? That's oh, for sure, he mad. Yeah. So who is he throwing a shot at? The Kings. Kings. But why I'm throwing a shot? Why I, you, I fucked up, but I they, fucked up they pushed me into yeah. the. You the one made the wrong pick. That's why you ass gotta go. Vladdy, four year gym. You. They done ran into that nigga in the bathroom. Here, they called him in the bathroom. Get on so, out here, man. So say this. You're going to say this. You're going to kill you. It's, it's, you know, we, well, you said that was the Slovenia magazine, though, right? Uh, Croatian, Croatian Western website. Croatian. But that, oh. that, it's, that whole oh, region. Oh, yeah, they got Croatia's some drama over there. there. The whole they region. fix this. I'm telling you, it's The whole problem. region, niggas, is wild. Especially if you said the dad and him was at it, that means the dad and them have seen each other before yeah. somewhere. They said, boy, you look just like your dad. from that heist. You're trying to steal that money from them people. All right, well, let's keep this thing moving. Uh, after a historic season, Ace